Okay, I didn't quite get time to finish um, chapter four, tutorial three on page 154. I got everything done except the your turn, so I'm going to probably sneak this in on the front of tutorial 4-4. Four -four. And uh, so it says repeat the previous steps to calculate a new column in the census tract data table. So uh, here's our census tract data table, and we're going to right click on it, and we're going to uh, open it up. And... Um, We want um, the native per capita income divided by the white per capita income, and we're going to call that. So I want, uh, okay, well, um, I'm sorry, it's not the exact same steps. We want a new column called R His white so let's go up here and tell it we want a uh, new field so add field and r for ratio i guess h i s w h t for hispanic and white and the type of this is going to be uh, i think they made that a float yeah it's just a ratio so we'll do float and click on okay and uh, now we have to um, do the field calculator. So right click and do field calculator. And this is going to be Hispanic uh, per capita. So Hispanic PC income. And so double click on that. And then we want to do divided by. And then we want to do uh, white per capita income. Let's try double clicking again. Okay, there we go. And um, click on OK. And we get numbers in there. And again, where we've got this the same rows where the white is 0. So it yeah, can't divide by 0. OK, let's go ahead and close that. And uh, now I think we're good. And we can start on tutorial 4-4. So it says save your map as tutorial 4-4, and I haven't done that yet. Mine is still untitled, so let's do file and let's do save as. And it says in the chapter 4 folder, so let's go up a level here. And um, let's go up another level, and I want to go my C drive, and go to SREPRESS and GIST1. And uh, the chapter four folder, so my exercises and the chapter four folder, and we're going to call this um, tutorial 4 4. And click on enter or click on save. And uh, number two, in the ArcMap table of contents, right click the tracts layer and so what we're going to do is we've got some data. If you look at our census tract data here, um, I didn't mean to double click on that. Let's right click on it and choose open. Um, we have uh, this data here and uh, we also have um, this geo ID field. And so I know that this data over here, um, uh, my two ratio columns uh, belongs with this particular item but I don't have any map information here okay so I can't draw it uh, here is where the map information is and so if I open that attribute table uh, this has all the information for drawing but it does not have any information about incomes so what I need to do is I need to take this column right here I need to match it up with the same column in the that has the same, I don't know the same name, but the column has the same values in the other table. And then I've got something that I can map. So uh, in the ArcMap table contents, right click on the tracks layer. So let's right click on the tracks layer and click joins and relates. And we're going to click on join. So I want to join those two tables up. And uh, it says make the selections shown on the right. So I'm doing um, the. Let me see. Um, uh, 
I want, uh, let me see, join data from another layer based on, we want to click on that, and we want to join attributes from a table. There we go. And now choose the field in this layer. This layer is the tracks that the, we will do our join on. And it is GOID uh, 10 as a number, okay? And then um, we want a table to join it to, and it already picked that one out for us, and um, probably because that's the only data table we've got. And I want to tell it what column in there, and the column in there is GOID 2. So there should be one record here uh, for every record here, yeah, and so I should be able to match them up. And click on OK. And now if I open the tracks table, the attribute table, and if I scroll to the right, I should see this stuff right here that was not here before. Okay, I've got my ratios that I pulled out of the other table, and they're here, plus there's a few other things that were in that table too. But um, this is the thing that I'm going to be creating my map out of. Um, so it says on number five at the bottom of page 155, it says verify that ArcMap joined the data together and it did join the data together. And now it says close the tracks table. And then under your turn, now that you have census track data attached to the census map layer, you can make a quick map of an interesting variable. Are there places in Maricopa County where Native Americans typically have higher per capita income than whites? Make a choropleth map using the R nat white um, attribute that you created. Uh, use quantiles for the numeric scale and red to yellow to green color ramp. So let's do that. So I want to go to tracks here and I want to um, go to properties and I want uh, quantities and I want graduated colors and the value that I want is uh, it's that R native to white um, and you know we could have done uh, the division in here uh, we did the division in the table uh, we could have just done it here and you know taken the white income and or native income and divided by the white income and gotten the same results um, now they want us to use for our color ramp they want us to use uh, red to yellow to green so let's look for one that starts off with red and goes to yellow and then goes to green which must be this one right here and uh, we want uh, quintiles so we want to divide it up into five equal parts so our classification is going to be uh, I'm sorry quantile with five classes so click on OK and click on OK and if we take a look at our map now this should look an awful lot like the one on page 156 and that takes us to the end of tutorial 4-4